First look at Oxygen OS 10 based on Android 10 running on the Xiaomi Poco F1. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to have our first look at Oxygen OS 10 port based on Android 10 from the OnePlus 6 running on the Xiaomi Poco F1. So this is how it comes out of the box. You do have OnePlus launcher in the building and this is how your recents look like. If you are looking for your recents options or customizations, you have to click on the three dot menu right above the app icon and you will get the options of lock, app info and split screen. As for the applications which come baked in, these are all the applications which come baked in with this ROM and you do have Google Camera 7.0 baked in and it works absolutely fine. Magisk Manager was installed when I rooted my device and we can also check the CTS profile. As of now it fails but you do have a way of fixing that which is linked in the description of this video. As for the quick setting tiles, these are the quick setting tiles which you get on this build and you do have a screen recorder baked in which works. Also, if you want to not use your phone and you know, go into Zen mode, maybe enjoy the nature, you have a quick tile for Zen mode as well. And you can set the time for Zen mode using this drop down. If you click on let's go, this is what will happen. So make sure you read the first line very carefully that Zen mode cannot be canceled. So if you choose 20 minutes, you will not be able to go into Instagram and Facebook for 20 minutes. If you're fine with that, please go ahead and click on confirm. As for the volume panel, it is still on the left hand side, but do note you are running an Oxygen OS port and they do have the alert slider on that side, which is why the port has the volume panel on the left hand side. We can now go into settings, have a look at the major customizations which we get with Oxygen OS 10 on the Poco F1. In Bluetooth and device connection, you will see tap and pay. This doesn't mean that NFC is working. Poco F1 doesn't have the hardware for NFC. The option is there because the vendor used in this build is from the Xiaomi Mi 8. Going into display, you do have adaptive brightness and screen calibration is also present. If you go into advanced, you can use sRGB mode if you want to use it or you can use the AMOLED wide gamut. I don't think so AMOLED wide gamut would work on the POCO F1 because we have a LCD display. However, sRGB does work on the POCO F1. As for ambient display, there are some fixes for it. I personally could not get them to work because I could not find the path or the class which they mentioned to edit. If anyone was able to, do let me know via comments below. Also, you can customize your font size, display size. You do have customization for the status bar. So if you want battery percentage, this is where you will find the toggle for that. And you can also choose what icons you want to see in the status bar. Other than that, you do have night mode and reading mode. Reading mode works absolutely fine. Here it is. I'll open the files application and you will see that my display will go into reading mode. So reading mode is working like a boss on this build we can now go into customization and this is where you have the customizations which oneplus has added to android 10 so you do have the option of choosing between three themes vibrant tints illuminating light and nuisance dark nuisance dark is your dark mode works absolutely fine you can customize your wallpapers you can customize your clock style once you enable ambient display and you get it working this should also work then you can customize your accent color these are all the accent colors you can choose from and you can also change your tone so this is your different options for the tones you can choose between light dark and colorful so right now we are at light and we can try changing this to let's say colorful and then click on the check mark on the top right which will apply this and now if you go into settings bam there you have it colorful icons working like a boss other than changing the accent color and tone, you can also change your icon shape. So you can choose between round, square, teardrop and round rectangle. You can also change your icon pack. 
so you can either use oneplus as baked in system icon pack or if you go into more you can download icon packs from the play store and they will show up over here which means you'll be able to apply third-party icon packs downloaded from the google play store right from this setting then you can also choose between two different fonts so you have the option of choosing between roboto and oneplus slate font whichever font you prefer that is all about your customization options in the customization setting nothing much to talk about in sound and vibration we can move over to buttons and gestures of course you do not have the functionality of alert slider as we do not have the hardware for that in navigation bar and gestures you can choose between three different style of gestures so you can use the old school ones which i'm using right now once you enable those you can also customize your navigation bar so you can swap the buttons you can hide the navigation bar long press action for the different buttons and double tap action for all these three buttons then you have the android 10 gestures which is the second option in this case if you have to go back you can swipe from either the right or from the left which will take you back another customization which you get with this style of gestures is swiping diagonally will open up google assistant in case you want to turn that off you can go into settings apps and notifications and then you will go into default apps assist and voice input and then you will click on assist app and click on none and once that is done if now i swipe diagonally it will not do anything because i just turned that option off then you also have the third type of navigation bar gestures which is oneplus's own navigation style in this case if you have to go back you can swipe up from either the bottom left or the bottom right so if i do that it's going to take me back and of course swipe up from the center will take you to the home screen you can learn more about these gestures in that same option so if i select this one at the bottom you do have a tutorial which shows you how you can use these different type of gestures which come baked in with this rom you do have quick gestures which does include three finger screenshot and it works absolutely fine of course your screen of gestures do not work which is the drawing part does not work double tap to wake will work but you will have to root your device for that and execute certain commands after every reboot which again is mentioned in the end comment on this video nothing much to talk about in apps and notification you have your normal options which come with android and then you have security and location so in security and location your fingerprint is working absolutely fine your screen lock is working absolutely fine as for face unlock that is not working even if you go into smart lock you will not get face unlock because google decided to remove face unlock from android 10 source code in aosp in privacy again you have your normal options of privacy manager where you can control your access based on the applications moving over to location same normal android options click on app permission and now you can choose what all apps have access to the location and when so allowed all the time allowed only while in use and denied in case you want to change any of those just tap on the application choose an appropriate option and it will move over to the correct section which you have chosen next up we do have digital well-being and parental controls and you can decide how much time you want to spend in certain applications what is your wind down schedule these are all android features which come directly from google in utilities you do have parallel apps app locker scheduled power on and power off pocket mode and oneplus lab as for hiding the notch that option is not present in display and why is that that is because oneplus decided to remove the option so all you need to do is enable developer options and then you can search here for display cutout which will give you the option of hiding the notch of course the notch area will not be used for your notifications and everything is going to shift down another thing of interest when you enable developer options is if you search for dark mode if you search for dark mode in developer options you will get this option which says override force dark mode now if you enable this toggle this should enable your dark mode for third-party applications as well so if you have an application which say has dark mode but does not switch over to dark mode when you enable dark mode you can enable this toggle and it should switch over to dark mode other than that you do have game space which does let you 
enjoy your game better and do note when this game space or normal gaming mode is on this is what you get so your cpu is optimized your gpu is optimized and your ram is also optimized you can click on the gear icon on the top right and it will show you the settings for game space so you have a toggle to answer the calls via speaker do you want notifications for third party calls or not how do you want to see the notifications do you want to see heads up text only or block them out altogether now what if you want to enable fanatic mode you click on the blue icon and then you can enable the toggle for fanatic mode what happens in fanatic mode is it's going to block all the notifications and call it will restrict background applications so that you get more performance in your game it will stop the secondary sim to again improve your network connection and all you need to do is click on got it and bam it does change over and tell you the difference between fanatic mode and the normal game speed mode so here it is with fanatic mode again advanced do not disturb enhance process regulator and network enhancement you do have a toggle for graphics optimization as well and again how do you want to see the notifications so this is all the customizations which you get with game space as for the benchmark scores these are the benchmark scores which i got on oxygen os 10 running on the poco f1 and as i always say benchmark scores are never a true reflection of the performance of a rom go ahead enjoy the rom and don't worry too much about benchmark scores so there it is peeps that was our first look at oxygen os 10 based on android 10 running on the xiaomi poco f1 and that will do it for this video i hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you